welcome to the Maverick Paradox podcast, where we explore what it is to be a maverick and discover effective modes of leadership. I am Judith Germain, and my mission is to propel the maverick mindset into a world where character and integrity will ultimately have a higher premium than personality and bureaucracy. So thank you for joining me on this journey. If you'd like to continue with me, then please subscribe to my podcast on iTunes, Stitcher or one of the other popular podcast platforms. And today we will depart from my usual conversation with format to allow me to talk about maverick leadership. I hope you enjoy. Successful leadership in an ever-shifting landscape isn't easy and finding your place in the world has become increasingly difficult as the century gets older. The old staples aren't stable anymore and we are no longer sure of the old certainties. Things must change and the time for a new type of leader is upon us. Not only do we expect individuals to lead, we insist that the companies that serve us also show true leadership as well. A new type of maverick leadership made perfect for this century. Maverick leadership is a way of life, not an organisational formal process. And I've always believed that. Many people assume that when I advocate for maverick leaders or more maverick behaviours in the office that I'm really calling for anarchy. Films like Top Gun or Maverick fuel this perception. After years of research, I have catalogued two personality types of maverick, the socialised and the extreme. And I've found that the maverick behaviourists, they emulate the socialised maverick in the workplace. These maverick behaviourists, though, will revert to their conformist personality outside of their work sphere. So what I'm really doing is advocating socialised maverick behaviour and strategies as the pathway to success. I love seeing satisfied clients succeed when they decide to develop maverick leaders in their companies or become maverick leaders themselves. The difference is truly transformational. I believe I believe that the only way to get ahead is to use maverick-driven leadership. But first of all, what's a maverick? Well, since 2005, I have been defining mavericks as willfully independent people. And over the years, it has become abundantly clear that mavericks demand a new type of leadership. Indeed, socialised mavericks have led in a different way for years, which explains the high level of success. Almost all the well-known leadership styles are a product of their times. They focus primarily on a bunch of techniques that the leader must do to their followers to ensure compliance. As time changes, the efficacy of the chosen leadership solution wanes. Leadership models can be surprisingly one way, I have found. People ask me all the time, what exactly is a maverick leader? Hmm... Now, I think that when we're talking about leadership, it is really important to distinguish the leader from the leadership activity, because this enables you to give the appropriate amount of attention to both of those concepts. If someone is a maverick leader, then they are one, regardless of whether they're at home or at work. There really is no distinction. My maverick-driven leadership mythology is a refreshing new paradigm shift in the leadership sphere. It combines the maverick leader, which is not only a clutch of attributes, traits, capabilities, strategies and mindset, the real essence of a maverick personality and their behaviours, with the driven behaviours that drive success. This leadership methodology provides a foundation for success and thus the credibility of the leader. Successful mavericks and maverick behaviourists use this methodology naturally And it's this authenticity that enables people to follow them. Now, I've worked with, managed, assessed, mentored and even disciplined thousands of managers. I've often lamented that there are very few leaders amongst them. And this has to change, not only because millennials and Gen Z insist on it. It's necessity for change is certain because business is rapidly failing as a reflection of this. So consider this. Nothing is certain anymore. The trust in companies and institutions are rapidly diminishing. 
It has become acceptable and expected to have many jobs in your lifetime and at least three different careers. Employees want meaning and development in their roles and impact and influence almost from day one. Millennials are fast becoming maverick behaviourists, therefore companies need to embrace maverick behaviour. And the old adage of people don't leave companies, they leave bosses, have now become a truism. And why not? Who would work for a boss that has a bad reputation and you can't trust them and their credibility is shot? Companies are totally unprepared for an army of disengaged employees ready to tear down the company with their apathy or indeed the maverick which will actively destroy it with their mischievous nature. So two things need to happen. Companies need to wake up their leadership cadre and develop maverick leaders that will drag the company forward ethically to success. And two, employees need to take control of their career and use the strategies of the socialised maverick to catapult themselves to success. So if you run your own company or are a freelancer, then the same pursuit of, the, of these goals is necessary. To be able to navigate this changing landscape you must become a maverick leader. So step forward, the empathetic leader. This is fast becoming the next leadership innovation. Organisations are finally beginning to realise that leadership is both an art and a science. That empathy may be a soft skill, but it has a hard edge. Well, let's look at sympathy versus empathy. Well, sympathy is passive and is often from your own perspective. But empathy is proactive and from the other person's perspective. Therefore, it's better to be an empathetic rather than a sympathetic leader if you want to be influential. Maverick-driven leadership is a combination of what you do as a maverick leader and who you are and having empathy employing it is an essential quality to have. If you have a company and your leaders dole out sympathy rather than empathy, you will see the negative impact on your bottom line. This is especially true for your maverick and millennial employees who expect your time and for you to genuinely care about them. There are a number of ways to improve your empathetic skills. 1. Pay attention. Before you begin deciding what you want to say, listen to the other person with minimal interruptions. Ask questions so you truly understand what it is being said. And this means you should also look for what isn't being said. Sometimes the truth to the situation resides there. 2. Be emotionally aware. Understanding body language and team dynamics are essential to this. In my book, The Maverick Paradox, The Secret Power Behind Successful Leaders, I discuss the ability of socialised mavericks to be simultaneously aware of emotional intelligence, social intelligence and a temperature check. Not only are they aware, they are able to use it to put people at ease and influence for the greater good. And three, in the moment of listening, avoid judging. If you judge someone as they are talking, you are ensuring that you will not be hearing the truth and your own bias will provide unnecessary conflict. It is hard to be analytic and objective when you are annoyed or intolerant of someone or their perspectives. 4. Ensure that you are approachable and can be trusted as well as trustworthy. And 5. Being an effective coach and mentor. So remember... Being an apathetic leader does not mean that you avoid conflict and agree with everybody. There is an inherent danger in choosing to be empathetic. The desire to seek consensus in deference to making an unpopular decision becomes the clear and present danger. Leaders will have to, on occasion, make decisions that others would prefer not to be made. Maverick-driven leadership is a combination of of what you do as a maverick leader and who you are. So step up the empathetic leader. It's a foundational step to true maverick driven leadership. Thank you once again for tuning into the Maverick Paradox 
podcast. I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. If you would like to learn more about Mavericks and leadership, then please subscribe to my podcast on iTunes, Stitcher or one of the other popular podcast platforms. Find out how willful independence can ultimately change all our futures. The next time you hear from me, I will be with another interesting guest, ready to explore the mysteries of leadership. Thanks again and see you soon.